Since Apple transitioned from using Intel chips to their own silicon processors like the M1 and the M2, Behringer, BCF and BCR control surfaces haven't worked properly. Here I've got a BCF2000 connected to my Mac using a USB cable. When I move a fader on the BCF, the fader in Ableton moves accordingly. But when I move a fader on Ableton, the motorized fader on the BCF doesn't move. There's no software fix for this, but we can wire up the BCF using MIDI to regain some of the normal functionality. Now I've disconnected the USB cable to the BCF, and instead I've connected a MIDI interface to my computer. I've plugged the output of my MIDI interface to the MIDI in on the Behringer. And I've plugged the input of my MIDI interface to the MIDI out B on the Behringer. We don't use MIDI out A, so we can avoid having a MIDI feedback loop. We need to put the Behringer into BC control mode by holding down the top left button when we power up the device. We now go into edit global mode by holding down the edit button and pressing store. We turn in code 1 until it displays S3 for MIDI standalone mode 3. Then we press exit. The display should say P1 and if it doesn't we use the preset left and right buttons to go into preset 1. In the MIDI preferences on Ableton, we need to make sure that remote is turned on for the MIDI interface input and output ports. It doesn't matter what track is sent to. In the main window of Ableton, we have to MIDI map the Behringer to the specific faders we want to control. I can go into MIDI map mode, select fader 1 and move a fader on the BCF. Now the faders on Ableton and the Behringer will interact with each other. If you want to change which MIDI notes or MIDI control change data is sent out by which control on the Behringer, have a look in the manual for the MIDI learn function.